I'm going to show you quickly how a cardipult is assembled. I'm not going to cover cutting since how you cut it depends on the tools you have, but from a set of cutout parts, you should have all these components. These little axles were made from just some scrap card that was glued together in three layers and um, cut out with a hole punch. You want to glue all of these components um, together in, so they form the layers. The arm only gets two layers even though there's three on the cutout pattern you only need two of them. The legs you only glue about a half inch sorry about that about a half inch from the end so that when they're together they can still fold out. Here's a set that's already been glued together for time's sake. As you can see, these are only glued on, on the ends. I have a puddle of glue here and a toothpick. So the first part I start out with is the big L piece. I want to apply glue in an even layer all over this piece. And then I glue it to the back face so that this corner is aligned flush and so is this little notch right here. And I do the same thing with the long skinny piece. This one is aligned against this bottom edge and in between these two angle cuts. Next I do this piece and it goes onto uh, this. One thing I need to point out is that there is a little overlap on the bottom and on this side that's supposed to be there I just kinda eyeball where it's at and try not to apply much glue to that area so I don't make a mess This piece is aligned in that corner and all along this edge, which should also align it with, with the little flap that was cut out. And normally I'll set these under a book or something and let them dry out a little. Uh, for the sake of time, I'll just go right into the next step. You want to put the arm on there so it's aligned up here in the corner, the same place it was cut out from. And trace the circle in there so you know where the axle should go. Then take one of the axles, apply glue, and line it up over the circle you traced got any glue squeezed out you can wipe it off you want to make sure that it's aligned enough that, so that the axles so that the arm will still fit in there normally I would let this dry a little so I wouldn't accidentally glue the arm in place but for the sake of speed I'm gonna go ahead and put the arm in and glue the, the next face on there don't want any glue on the arm because remember you want that to pivot oops forgot the axle I'll 
make sure I get glue on the axle. And you should have a completed upper arm. Again, I'd let this dry under a book normally. And you want to align the arm on the, uh, the back face you glued together earlier. Again, it should align with the arm against this bottom piece. And this edge against the, the edge of the back face. Again, draw your circle. Glue in the axle. Just wiping off any excess glue. That would again be something I'd let dry out a little. Make sure the arm still fits. apply glue to all the inside parts that you glued on before and place the arm in there Place the front face on, line everything up, make sure things can still pivot, and then I'd let this dry under a book or something. Just make sure it dries flat. Then take your legs, slide them into place, and glue on all these little bits. These two rectangle pieces go on the inside of the flaps about flush with that edge. Next, these little pieces that were cut out of the front faces, just make sure the arm's all the way down, and put these into that gap on both sides. These little bits, they're sometimes hard to get on there. You just got to be patient and very careful. Just line them up all the way on the inside. A lot of times I have a problem with these small bits drying to the face they're sitting against. What I'll usually do is after they're, they're dry, I'll just take a, take a hobby knife and cut around their edges. That will usually break the legs free. Same thing with this arm. After the card has dried out, you want to take a hole punch to make the the holes or the slots for the rubber band. A stronger hole punch would probably be advised because if you try to do this by hand and punch through all five layers, you will probably bend a hole punch like this. What I found to get around that is I grip it where I want the hole, the hole to be, which as you can see is kind of halfway or not quite halfway on that line and I set it on the edge of a desk and hit right here with a hammer I actually don't have a hammer so I'm going to be misusing two tools at once and 
and that will make your your slot. I'm going to do the same thing with this arm because it's a curved piece. It's sometimes a little tricky to get the alignment right. Yeah, I usually go off the back for this one. And then just add a rubber band. And you get yourself a cardipole.